Hello everyone, Marty Jobson here. Welcome to Micro Minute and welcome to the third global science show. Now, today my microscope is not sat next to me because I've packed it away and instead I've teamed up with the folk at Zeiss and what they were doing is we are allowing me to remotely operate a scanning electron microscope. And Ken, who's down in Cambridge, has put some specimens of daisy and dandelion under the microscope there so that we can have a look at the pollen. So let's jump straight in uh, and I'll show you the microscope. So I've got a screen here uh, and that is showing me uh, the feed from the microscope and allows me to control it. Uh, and what we've got here is immediately below me here is the sort of the operational gubbins. Uh, over here is uh, the screen that allows us to see what's going on. And at the moment, what we're seeing is just, uh, it's actually just a television, the little camera that looks at the stage. And that's where the specimens are. And you can also see the specimens sat here on top of the stage. So let's go though to the actual microscope itself and what I need to do is now I have control and I'm going to go to, oops, this is the bit that I'm, I go here, I click on that there and now we get the microscope image coming up. Here's the microscope image and already, look at that, isn't that an amazing picture? What we're seeing here, and I'm going to zoom out as far as I can, I'm just going to zoom out a bit further. What we're seeing here, and this is what Ken did for us, is he pulled out some of the individual florets from the, uh, the dandelion. And if you, if I've actually done a, a light microscopical analysis of dandelion, so go and have a look at that. And what you will see uh, is that the, the flower is made up of lots and lots of individual florets. And this bit here, this bit here, oh, me, oh, I'm going to have to click on this. It's all very complicated. This bit here, okay, this is, is actually the anther where the, the pollen is. And this bit here, this is the stigma that comes up through the anther and is covered in pollen. So let's zoom in on some of that pollen and have a closer look. So I go, I, oops, I click there like that and we zoom in a little bit. And what you're seeing is because this is a scanning electron microscope, it's scanning down the picture, okay? And that's what that line is. And when I jump, it takes a little while to think. And you can see here, the, the, the top of the stigma, the, 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 bit, the female bits, is coated in pollen grains. Let's go in a bit further and have a look at some of these pollen grains. Oops, I did that. And we, get, we can start to see some of the detail on the pollen grains. OK, and there they are. And you can see all these little tiny dots. These are individual pollen grains and there's wonderful detail in them. And if you remember, if you saw when I used a light microscope to look at it, I actually printed out a 3D version of the pollen grain. This is it here. OK, it's a funny looking thing. If I sort of hold it there like that. There it is. It's a little overexposed because of the lighting in this room. But now you can see that this is actually what the pollen grains look like because you can see these fantastic details. And I'll go in again. And they've got this wonderful sort of... What's the way to describe it? It's sort of a... Uh, here's quite a good one. I'm going to zoom in on that one there. We'll get that one in the centre of the shot. So what you've got here... So this is the stigma of the, uh, of the dandelion flower. So this is the female part of the flower. And these are individual pollen grains captured and trapped on the stigma. They kind of, they look like some sort of steampunk kind of weird thing. Let's keep going in on them because there is so much detail here to see. Let's have a look. There's a couple of, a couple of beauties there. And they've got, so they've got all these little ridges here with spikes on. Uh, and that, I assume, helps... Um, them catch on bumblebees' fur and bees' fur because they're, they're the things that will be pollinating and taking them. But then they've also got a little hole. There's always a little hole somewhere in the pollen grain because it has to let what's known as the pollen tube come out because the pollen tube comes out and grows then through the stigma all the way down to the bottom of the flower to the ovary. Let me zoom in a bit more. I'll keep going in. Let's get a really big close-up. Oh, I think I've gone too close. I've gone too close. I'll back up a little bit. Ugh, all over the place now. 
No, I've, I've, I've clicked too close. I'll oh, come out. Come out. Come out. Too close. And one more. Uh, that's too close. Let's come out to there. That's good. There we go. That's that's as, uh, this is actually this one is a slightly better pollen grain. So let's move over to that one, and I can just move the picture around, and I'll try going one more step closer than that. Okay, there we go, and you can see the pollen grain in all its beauty, and you can see there's actually there's even more detail in there, sort of lurking inside that. There is a little bit more detail. Um, there we go closer. Should we go closer? Let's go closer. Let's zoom in even further uh, and see what else there is to see in this pollen grain. And I'm a little bit out of focus. I might just hit the auto focus button here once we've got a full picture. Yes, I'll, I'll hit auto focus. So it's now running a bit of a focus that so we can sort of see slightly better what's going on. And you can see that even at this magnification, and what you have to look at down here at the bottom here, there is a scale bar. That scale bar is telling me that the size of my dot at the moment, my sort of my highlighter dot, is about three millionths of a meter, three microns. So these are, this is seriously small. This is about a half the diameter. That dot is half the diameter of a blood cell. So seriously small. But look at that, isn't that amazing? Look at the detail on that. Okay, so that's what dandelion pollen looks like. What about daisy pollen. Now we've got some daisy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom right out again. Oh, I'm clicking on the wrong window. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll go right out so that we can zoom in as best as possible. And now I'm going to go over to the daisy, which if you look, it's immediately below. I'm going to use that to jump across and hopefully we'll find, and there's a daisy specimen here. Here it is. Um, it's a bit more difficult to maybe see what's going on, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to centre on that and then zoom in and we'll show you some daisy pollen because it's similar but different because the daisy is also a plant that's pollinated by bees. So you'd expect it to be at least a bit similar and it is a bit similar. So here is the head of one of the anthers. OK, it's slightly different structure to the uh, dandelion. So this bit here, this is where all the male pollen is. These are the, the stigmas, these are the female parts. But let's zoom in on that. And you can start to see the individual pollen grains coming out. There they are. Centre on that and zoom in a bit more. And let's see, here we go, here we go. Yep. And you can start to see, and indeed the pollen grains do look pretty similar. Um, they're actually quite a bit smaller than uh, the pollen grains, than the dandelion pollen grains. The dandelion pollen grains are, are sort of at least three times the size, twice to three times the size. These things, really tiny, tiny little things. Uh, this one here is quite good. Let's go for that one. And that's it there. And we'll zoom in on that one now. Uh, Let's keep going in. And they're these tiny little spiky things. Um, they're actually a lot more spiky in some respects. And they don't have all these sort of weird sort of geodesic facets. Um, and again, do you remember I said you need to have some sort of hole, some sort of opening that will allow the pollen tube to grow out of? And you can see that here. Look, here's one. Here's the hole in this pollen grain here. And you can see sort of that's it at the side there. So it's kind of shielding over it. And again, there's lots of lovely detail in there. Now, I'm running out of time on my 10 minute slot. Global Science Show only gives us 10 minutes. Uh, so what I'm going to mention is I'm just going to mention very quickly the Youth STEM Awards, which doesn't show up very well down there. But check out the Youth STEM Awards. If you're a, a young person looking to do more science, look at the link on the YouTube video uh, I've linked into to this. Uh, and it's a, a, an award scheme that will allow you to do lots of fun science. So that's all I've got time for. Enjoy the rest of the Global Science Show. Come back for more Micro Minutes. Take care. Bye bye.